crossbows! Look, they're brilliant, they're fun. Why would you have a bow when you could have a crossbow? This isn't a real crossbow, but you can touch it, but it fires these, not actual crossbow bolts. But for the purposes of today, it will do just fine. Anyway, why would you pick this over something like this? Well, this is, this is big. I mean, for a bow standards, it, it's definitely a lot shorter than longbow, but it's still, it, it's big. It's very big. This, however, I hold it quite easy with one hand, and you could do that with most crossbows. You can hold for a little bit of extra stabilization. It's fairly easy to cock back. This one, obviously, because it's a toy. But even with proper crossbows, they'll have a little stirrup, or you'll have a little crank. It, it's easy to, to pull them back. The biggest one is it's so much easier to aim and to shoot. Little target. The cat goes crazy, you hit your mark, everyone wins. Everyone. So that being said, why was it when the crossbow came out, we still had archers? The cat still goes crazy. Anyway, the reason we still had archers is because as nice as crossbows are, and as fun as crossbows are, and as brilliant as these crossbows are to, you know, shoot your landlord, it's all good. There are significant drawbacks to a crossbow. Now, in terms of training someone to be very efficient with a crossbow, that's easy. Maybe half an hour and you'll have a load of brilliant soldiers, well trained, who can hit their mark because it's, it's just it's that easy with a crossbow, even with basic sights. Whereas something like this, well, traditional shooting, instinctive shooting, gap shooting, that takes years and years and years and maybe even years more. But even though it did take years or it could take years being fairly efficient with a bow, the arrow went further. Now, this is an 80 pound bow. It's just 80 pounds when I draw it back at full length. It is oh. It's enough to only show off maybe once a day. But if this was 80 pounds, let's just pretend that it is, that 80 pounds isn't exactly going into the crossbow bolt. It, you lose power when you scale down in the size. 80 pounds is going into the arrow, unquestionably. Okay, 80 pounds, depending on draw length, is going into the arrow. So that's what you get with a bow. With a crossbow, you have to do the calculations into how much power are you actually losing because you've shortened it down. Now, you can have maybe a 120 pound crossbow, that bolt will never reach as far as the archer's arrow when they both shoot from the same level. That also impacts the, well, the impact of the bolt or of the arrow. So when the English went to war, we typically used more longbowmen than we did crossbowmen. And most of the time, we kind of walked away pretty good because our arrows could reach the crossbowmen before they could get it. An archer's greatest strength is distance. A 
crossbowman's greatest strength is the fact that you can have more of them, that they're easier trained, and that they could, in theory, get a little bit closer with a little bit of tactics and a little bit of strategic planning. You could outsmart your opponent with a load of crossbows. Ultimately, when it comes down to would you rather have a crossbow, would you rather have a bow, given that there are so many benefits of a crossbow, there are so many benefits of a bow, what do you prefer? I mean, that never gets old. Ever. Just, just ever. Never.